Hello friends, this is Scott back at my backyard garden and today is spicy pepper day. We're talking cayenne peppers and jalapeno peppers, uh, which I'm planning on drying. And I'll show you at the end of this video how I prepare and make my own pepper flakes. Um, what I'm showing you right now is, you know, the peppers in two earth boxes. Uh, earth boxes are, a, you know, look them up on the internet. They're kind of a cool invention. They're definitely not organic. You need to use chemical fertilizers. But what it is, it's got a little tray that you put in potting mix. On top of the potting mix, you put fertilizer band, and then you cover it in. It came with a black plastic top, but I've been using garbage sacks. And I, I'm kind of debating, you know, back and forth whether I use white reflective color or the black part of the, of the garbage bag, which one works best. I've had equal success with both. But, uh... What I like to do is you cover those up, you have a water tube, and it's got a little drain plug so you don't overfill. And you just, all you have to do is once you fertilize once, you just fill it with water. Uh, make sure you fill it till the water comes out the little fill tube. And uh, it does great for peppers, eggplants, uh, green peppers, things like that. Now I've been picking uh, green peppers, uh, jalapenos particularly, all summer long. And uh, uh, this is the end of the crop. It's their smaller fruit, but these are the ones that have turned red. And I've decided that I'm gonna dry these and make them into my hot pepper flakes. I'm gonna do the cayenne separately from the jalapeno. The orange peppers you see in this video are a sweet pepper. They're not a hot pepper. So they're gonna be a little bit of a mix, but I'll go ahead and dry those up and mix them in with the uh, jalapeno peppers. But here I'm just picking them and uh, just filling my little harvest basket. Again, these are the harvest baskets I used to sell at the market, very handy to use. Uh, can't make enough of them to, to keep a supply anymore, but uh, I need to get my wood shop back and, and uh, up and running as they're fun to make. Now I try to be as organic as possible, but there's a reason that I continue to grow in these earth boxes. I guess there's a couple reasons. One is they're very productive. Uh, the, the peppers just produce tons of peppers. But also uh, my uncle, my Uncle Rod, uh, rest in peace, Uncle Rod. Uh, he was my country doctor uncle from Torrington, Wyoming, that uh, gave me these earth boxes. It's got to have been 25 years ago. I've used them ever since. Um, every year I grow great crops in these, and it's a way to, that I can reflect back on my, on my upbringing and, and remember my, my aunt and uncle, who are both gone, my Aunt Pat and Uncle Rod. And, and uh, I miss my cousins back in Wyoming, and uh, I like to grow in these just to kind of as a way to, to keep back with my past and, uh, and uh, remember, remember who came before me and, and uh, the impact they had on my life. So I continue to be picking and picking. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, especially cayenne peppers on these plants. They're already partially dried, so they've already, Mother Nature's kind of done some of the work for me, but I'm gonna put them in a food dehydrator and uh, I'll show you that here in a little bit and, uh, and show you how I'm going to make my, uh, my flakes. Um, I was inspired to do this this year by April Hosky. Uh, she's got an Instagram uh, channel, I guess you call it. And uh, she was drying some peppers and it got me thinking I should be doing the same thing. So uh, shout out to April. Uh, appreciate you. She's a Florida gardener, does a great job. And, uh, and uh, she's, uh, she's into all this kind of stuff that I'm into. So I appreciate her and... Uh, and her influence on, uh, on giving me some ideas on what I need to do with my, my produce. As I finish up here, I'm going to show you a basket that shows you what I've harvested today. Again, I've harvested a lot more peppers this year, but this is what's left. Uh, they'll, they'll continue to grow until the first frost, but there's enough here to make a, quite a bit of uh, flake. So to dehydrate my peppers, nothing fancy, just a standard dehydrator. And I just put them on the individual trays that stack on top of each other. Try to keep them, give them a little bit of space so that they can dry uh, appropriately. And here's the jalapenos and some of those sweet yellow peppers. And uh, just cut them up in little chunks. Again, all that's left is the tops on some of them. I did the cayennes, I went ahead and dried with the tops. And uh, this is what they look like dried. And uh, they look beautiful. And here's some cayennes dried. And they, another close up of those. And all I do is put them in a food processor and just chop them up a little bit. And here's a top view of what they look like when they're chopped up. And a side view, I just use an old spice jar. I need to peel the label off, but it gives you quite a bit. And uh, so thank you for watching my videos. And if you'd like to continue to follow my journey and living my best rural life in the city, 
please subscribe to my channel, like, share, and comment as I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.